Just the insane ones called the years The word of the guy who was hated by The God of Failure Just lean
Alright, alright, alright. Welcome everyone. It to be Monday and time for some salty strife. This is not Ace. I'm a stretch replacement for Ace while Ace is away in Thailand enjoying a vacation. So uh, for today and the next week I'm gonna be a replacement. And yeah, uh, for tonight it's gonna be only top 8, which is almost done. We're missing like one player, so I'm gonna start with winners and hopefully we'll just catch up as they are. And yeah. So uh, for today I'm gonna be joined by C4 and Jonesy. I'm gonna undefin it a bit, let them take over as I just back up into the TO space. And yeah, while we wait, obviously. You know, you know what, you know what is coming, guys. You, you all know what is coming. The Macharino. Before we even start, you know, start claiming some codes. I didn't even claim one myself. I'm gonna claim right now. See how easy this is. You press one button, and you claim a code. It helps out the players. So every code gives 25 cents to the price pool. So that means if we claim all of them, yeah. Thank you, Jonesy, for claiming gold already. Gold, I'm gonna join the commentary in a bit. So, you know, keep it going, claim the codes, it all goes to the players. So, this is just support to them, giving them, you know, some thanks uh, for putting a show on like this. And yeah, so, first match we're gonna have on stream is gonna be Sorani and Ekalabru, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. I'm gonna slowly wait until Jonesy joins the commentary channel. And we're gonna begin. How's everyone doing, by the way? How is how is it going? Are you guys enjoying yourself? Are you ready for some good strike? All right. All right. All so right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head you off to head the quarters. Like that. Uh, 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 what, what is up, guys? guys? We're, We're here. here. So are you. you. Number 96. We're close. Close. To the big 100. I'm sure Ice got something cooking special up. But for now, it's going to be Ratchman holding it down on the production. It's your boy, the most based of Jonesy's here. Joined by the energy drink that's in your favorite shop, C4. Uh, yeah, that is me. I've stolen that identity from an energy drink. Relentless and Red Bull were taken. Uh, we all know C4's the best one, but yeah, I'm here. I'm here to sort you. It's been a while. I think the last time I was on here was for Dragon Ball, like a couple of months ago. But uh, I'm going to get carried by Jonesy, the conductor. So this should be, uh, should be easy. Oh, I was expecting you to carry. This is awkward, man. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Yikes. We should have yeah. uh, should have had a discussion beforehand, I think. Ah, uh, cut, this, cut the stream, man. Cut the stream. <laughs> Back off, back off. Yeah, we're here. We're here. Top 8. And that's top 8 is looking kind of nasty, I'm not going to lie. Um, obviously, chat can do exclamation mark bracket to see it. We're going to do a quick rundown. Anyway, just to let you know, we got Sarani up against Equilibrium. Just kick things off on the winner's side, top 8. And then on the other side of that, we got Zando Patachu. Oof. Got a bit yeah. of crushing mon at Rygand and then Andros versus waiting to find out but most likely Q Anchor maybe either Time's Up or Sweaty Bum Fluff, who knows? <laughs> That's the tag. <laughs> That's not my fault. Yo, I should have uh, checked the bracket before I signed up for commentary. <laughs> I, I I don't know how many times I can say sweaty bum fluff without laughing, so let's go time's up, please. <laughs> Say my comic reel, I'm big of you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, but before that, we've got, like you said, Sarani versus Equilibrium. Not playing the Asuka, playing Jacko. Mm, that's interesting. I think maybe, I guess, just tired of getting bodied by Sarani. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, With the Asuka, a... so like, let me try on a different character real quick. Understandable. Oh my. To be fair, that mix would have worked on either character. To be fair. Oh no, and it doesn't end right. here. 
the Scarf out tech. Oh my god, TK Padmin RC and then just says more mix on top, Sorani. She needs to chill. This is the first stream set of the day. I, what do you even say when that happens to someone? Like, they didn't do anything wrong, really. Just had a, average reactions. You need to be better than that. Literally. Like, you need ultra Oh, there we go. Like that. That 5P right there. Juicy. Beautiful. Into the minions. Set play time. Catching the back dash. Ooh, PRC. PRC. Uh, I tried to bait some reversal out. I want to know how much that is on block. Why, uh, wild Assault minion into next button. That seems interesting. It's got to be, since it's blue, right? It's got to be on the same level of like Bridget doing Wild Assault Yo Yo. True, true, true. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, slick back throw there. Calibrum. Not out of it yet. The first round looked dire. All right, they brought it back in the second one. But let's see if they can stop this train. That is Sarani just going through their opponent right now. Almost half health. And that's by Milia. Someone said she does no damage. Just want to talk to you. Just want to talk to you. That's it. Find out who. Ooh, that air throw was sick. And now the pressure coming on. But you got to be careful. Sarani's got a ton of meter to dump. All it takes is a reversal super RC. Just trying to turbo fall out of that situation. But he's still stuck with the minions. Time in the YRC. And now he can leave him stuck in an awkward situation with no minion gauge. And now has to hold the mix. Nice. Yeah, I knew it was fake, but got clicked on the other side. Close S burst that. Shields up. Nice. Patient there, Vasarani, not getting hit by the minion sh uh, shields. Mm -hmm. Six feet, no. Wow. Oh, yeah, again. 5P. Count it, anti it. That's the button that Equilibrium's decided to go with. Normally, I guess you like going for the low profiles against Melia because of the jumping buttons, but. Equilibrium saying Jacko 5P might do the work, but not that time. I, I, like you said, I think the safer option would be something like even Milia's, uh, not Milia, sorry, uh, Jacko's 2S is an interesting button, maybe against the kind of air approach from Milia. I, I like the 5P because unlike 6P, you actually get like a pretty yeah, reasonable damage. Yeah, the confirm mm -hmm. is decent, but like we saw there, it is still risky. It's way risky. You could kind of go for like an os -y sort of thing where you just go uh, 4P. So if you get a cross up, then you've got the 6P coming out. If you don't, you just get a 5P. That's an option. Let's see how that works yet again. That 5P. Let's try and find the confirm. Sorani saying no, no knockdown for you. And Equilibrium says right back at you. Neither of us are starting off with the knockdown, but Sorani's putting the pressure on. Oh my, all the overheads. Oh. 5P don't work that time, not against Turbo Fall. Now you're stuck in the blender. So I only got meter to dump as well. For possibly the mix or the hit goes for the PRC mix. Just connecting. How do you block that? Well, you're, I know you were saying that in general, but if you was directly out to me, I'm telling you flash it every day. <laughs> Why bother with left right? I feel this should be the sale pitch. Don't mm. care about left right, just flash it. All day. Yeah. We'll get more to the Leo squad. We need some more players, man. 2K, 2D. Oh. Okay, got the just block there, but it just doesn't matter. The layers in Sorani's game is absolutely insane. Yep, yeah, S-Disc and the insanity continues. Oh, couldn't get the whiff punish. Mini a little bit too nimble on the toes. Yeah, bobsled into RC. Oh, we believe. Well, we've got no choice, I guess, but straight back in there. The momentum too strong. Sorani taking that game. Again, it, it's a bit of a cliche, but it's like, what could you say to uh, Equilibrium? To, what, what could they have done better in that round or that whole set? And other than more preemptive buttons, I guess, I can see Carrot saying that the two has a situation. Or I can see that because it only really works if Millie is right above you. And that's kind of the space that Chip occupies normally because they want to do J2K, mm -hmm. right? But Millie is always coming at weird Minecraft angles, so it's not as easy. Yeah, Capel makes it a lot more difficult to just go for those kind of anti-air buttons. Mm -hmm. All right, minion in play. The wild assault to keep that pressure going, and it stops Sorani bursting as well. So if Equilibrium did manage to get the hit, it would have looked great for him. But instead, it's Sorani. Capel does connect. Blue wild assault for the hard knockdown, take away that burst possibility. And now you got to hold the mix. Cash or bad moon RC. Yeah, and a bit. Of 
it kind of scuffed at the end. I'm guessing they were a little bit too high, right? Maybe. But that's the go-to Sorani option now. 50 tension available. If the 50 burst gauge is there, Sorani is going to go for the wild assault to break instead all day. The tension is so much more useful for the mix situation. And then with positive, positive on top, it's like, oh, you're blocking? Yeah, you, great. Continue blocking. <laughs> I'm just going to blue wild assault and then run it back. Yep. You actually just get into a, like a training mode simulator. <laughs> they might as well just have max, max tension at that point. Uh, it's, it's dire. But here we go. Two minions. The squad, the Ooh. kids are out. So come on, looking for the burst. It doesn't come. Continues the combo. I like that okay. delay anyway, because then you get double close S. So why not? Just like that right there. Another one. Hmm. DJ Khaled close S's. Yes. That's kind of combos. Damn. I think because uh, Asuka's got combos like that. Close S combos. I guess Melee has it as well. Close S is the BNB of Guild Gear Strive. Who knew? Just like right there. Just like right there. On time. Straight to the reel. All RC to cover the burst. Sorani taking it free. Oh, the number one seed. Looking dominant here. Moving on to winners' finals. It's it's rough, man. It's definitely one of those characters that hasn't had representation. Big up to Jester, he was playing Biliar very very early and was like one of the strongest ones we had. Uh, but yeah, it's just a cat. It's uh, a matchup that not a lot of people have experience in. But that's not an OS for Sorani skill whatsoever. Sorani is definitely the Milia main and the one you need to be kind of preparing yourself for because i feel in the moment it, it's just oh i'm just getting million but you can't look at it like that you have to kind of anticipate certain variations of a mix and come up with ways to escape again easy for me to say i'm a leo if i know you can't safe jump me i'm flash kicking but everyone else Excellent. you gotta think about it yeah if especially it's kind of especially rough for uh, equilibrium because the two characters he's kind of known for Asuka only has one reversal in three decks of cards so realistically you might as well say meterless equilibrium's characters just don't really have solid reversal options no doesn't doesn't look like it they've they've got the the tools to keep her out but that's way easier said than done way way easier said than done i think especially most people think about milia and chips as uh chip as the speedsters and they they get onto you from totally different angles. Chip has the like top of the screen diagonal or really high up that you can't reach him and he just J2Ks. Again, Millie has got like the, the boxy Minecraft basin uh, control. But we're on to our next match here. Tataki versus Luke Eight Walker. Sin that and it. that's a sick name, by the way. That's a very sick name. Xander on the Asuka. Pachu on the Sin. Patented Sin player, bro. Oh, I realized yesterday when I was commentating Sin Sin. I was like, why does no one call Sin uh, Kaisen? Did you know, like, in, oh, with four, uh, he's Odin's son. Sin is Kaisen. Kaisen. So, Kaisen, yeah. yeah. I'm starting it. I'm starting the trends. It might not work. Oh, he's starting to put bricks on him. As the burst doesn't want the cubes. Are we reading the book? Park of Sphere. Wow. Hawk Baker. DP reversal. Straight into Tyra Barrel as well. That is a one in the early war break, so I guess Patchy really wants that positive bonus, get that burst gauge back. Very Problem is though, you're against deck free. You might not even get the chance to play for the rest of the round, not gonna lie. There it is though, beak driver right on the peak. Oh, that was so clean. Not dead? Oh, no. bro, the defense shield. You are looking for the burst. PRC, you can punish that. Smart throw, Quincy Bow, OTG, won't be enough anyway. Wow, what a savage. What a savage. He literally just got DP'd a second ago for doing run-up slow button, and he went, it was a fluke. Let me try again. I actually just a dash with 5D like that. Oh, the overhead does connect, and now we're into deck three. Sander gets cubes out. Now we're just going to go through all the cars. Gets that recover mana as well. This is a rough situation for Pachu to be in. Bro, what do you even do once that recover mana cards been played? You can't. Patrick's going to hold all this in as long as possible, but does get opened up. And Zando 
taking the first game. The difference between rounds, man, like that tiny, tiny sliver of health. And that was enough for Xana to make a comeback in the first round. And then, yeah, that second round was textbook, excuse the pun, but yeah, textbook demonstration of like Asuka's steamroll potential. Uh, and even the DP didn't help at that time. Just He just didn't have any t uh, moments to get the DP out. There were so many lows, mostly lows overhead wise. Asuka struggles because they're quite slow. Uh, even with, without the spell. The spell overhead is obviously super quick. Uh, but when he's pressured with buttons, the lows are what you kind of have to look out for, for the most part. But the gaps are so few and far between, it's hard to find a space. Yeah, and I think because the gaps are so few and far between, in a game like Strive, where kind of challenging in between block strings is the name of the game defensively a lot of the time, because people just tend to try and blow up the stagger pressure, I guess mm -hmm. Asuka, it just is a huge risk. However, that's a great bit of movement from Pachu. He's not going to be able to break this wall. Uses the Wild Assault, wants to keep Zando locked down with the hard knockdown for as long as possible, plus the positive bonus. Hoof Stomp overhead connects. It's a great round for Pachu right now. Yeah, he's going to put him in a one type situation with a hard knockdown. Perfect. Raw overhead. Gotta keep your eyes out, and especially when you're going up against a character that doesn't have the DP readily available at all times. Such a good option, but... Oh no, the Dark Wizard with the Dark Hearts. That's a side swap in the combo. I don't think they wanted it for. Now they're back to the corner. <gasps> good bait, Jonesy! Oh my days. Do we spend some mana? Yeah, send those cubes out. Got tension available as well. Zando, though, opted not to bookmark. No particle spheres either. Oh, the Clash PRC! That was sick! And gets the combo as well. Could have actually probably ended it there. Had super available. Nice back dash, avoiding the L cone, but it doesn't matter. Pachu's in there now. Nice fuzzy jump. Starting to check the overheads, but that's when Pachu throws out the low, calling that out immediately. The instant adaptation. Positive bonus. Is this Pachu's chance? Good for the meaty. Oh, there's the overhead, but there's the burst from Zando. Trying to bring it back, teleport Ooh. into the face, guys. Block on the overhead, here come the lows. Cube into store up, and another I A D S. We saw him use that before, but he didn't. I know, I think he didn't actually ID. I think he just jumped forward and RC'd it. Mm. It's a pretty interesting button because he hasn't been 6p too many times to kind of be deterred, and the, the risk reward is kind of in. I would say Patchy's favor to go for it. The damage is really good. Asuka, if he gets a 6p, mostly just gets uh, time to prep. And I just, actually, no, I'm lying. I didn't just realize. I've seen this before. Those two uh, pictures for the characters are basically identical, by the way. They are pretty close. Yeah. They are. Kai, you need to speak to Dizzy. <laughs> she might not have been faithful. <laughs> oh, no. Not, not for that man either. <laughs> Bro, they did it in the oh, not in the junkyard. Oh no. Jim would be quiet. We've seen, oh, okay. uh, I don't know if you noticed, but Patrick's been doing that quite a lot. He's seen the cubes getting thrown out and he'll beat driver straight into Elko or Gazelle step uh, because of the properties on Asuka's projectiles, right? They count as a hit if you put something into it. So he's just cancelling like it was on hit. So it's really smart. Okay, come back and Samara, the big explosion, straight to deck freak. My days, TP's out of there. Had the eye open for that one, avoiding all the patch he was throwing out. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. found the gap there after the fawns. Didn't get hit by the explosion. Another overhead lands on its mark. The noggin check. Save damage. Like mana as well. Sando going aggressive as well. No fear. Pops that burst. Mana now back available, but it might be a little bit too late. Blocking the beat driver, but it does not matter. Patachu. Just shouting wag and letting it rip with that DP there. The <laughs> best frame traps are done with DPs, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> they're the best ones. They're the best. They're the hypest ones. And they're also hype when they get blocked because the other person's just like, why would he do something like that? You get punished, but. He who dares wins. And when you get onto Asuka, you've got to find all the tools in your arsenal to stick onto him. Bro, those, those DPs, uh, they do double mental damage. 
Yes. It's actually crazy. Yep. Yeah, you get an insane punish on that. It's counter hit airborne. So pff, I don't want to six H. You could probably six H with sin potentially. And that's almost a dead character. All right, six P as the round start. The transformer arm coming out of the book. Nice five P on the big cube. But yeah, you, some of the cubes you kinda wanna let rock. I've got the speed up staff as well. Guard crushes all day. Oh my god. It's Hulk Baker. Come back, JP, though. Sando not wanting any of that. Kind of awkward Bro. with the cards right now. Might need to maybe go for a bookmark. Double teleport. Yeah, it's not. I mean, that's a good use of the teleport to get out of the corner. Uh, but like you said, yeah, without the cubes in the portal, double teleport is not super useful. But you know what's useful? Having hit confirms like that. Good stuff. Mm. Good stuff. That is crisp, clean. Mm -hmm. The Roblox of confirms. <laughs> oh, he is trying to get space. He is spending all that stamina as well. Ooh. Works out though. Finds the hit. Problem is though, breaking the wall in this situation kind of helps out Sando a little bit because he gets to go back to full screen. However, it does not matter, Pachu. The man is too low for Zando to really do much. Has to manage that mana bar and unfortunately gets opened up with the barrier gone. So is the round. So is the heart. Pachu with a chance to steal this away. And take the set 3 1. Oh, I love the attempt on the whiff punish on the beat driver. And there you've got multi cubes. Stops the beat driver. Cancel. I like it. Mind your noggin. Gets hit with the overhead. It's going to get reasonable damage here. More importantly, though, going to get the corner. Staving onto that overhead spell is so scary as well. Because you see the the deck three cubes and you think, oh, they're in deck three. And then suddenly you get hit by the overhead. You're like, wait, that's that's not the deck in there. Oh, what are you, what are you changing cards for? What's the side deck? Of oh, 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 see, Pachu, chill. I'm, I can't go with bro. Um, is, I just want to talk about the situation. That was so sick from Padre. Oh, all right, but Xander says, talk about me. Talk about me. I'm the guy with all the books, man. Read about me. Yes. Wild Assault. Keep the pressure up. Guard break. Why did the guard break hit from there? Oh, my days. Oh, oh he's getting the elements. Right, the lightning. That might actually punish. No, it won't. Aussie. To keep it safe. <gasps> the jump in. From all of that, the rawest of jumpings works out and punish you. Takes that game, takes that set, bro. It this all is. Look... It looked bad for uh, our guy Kyson. It looked hella bad. Back to the wall. Uh, he got to reshuffle. Xander got to reshuffle his deck. <laughs> got to pick his cards, and still could have managed to. to take him out like the dp was clinical in that situation to find out but yeah i don't know that was gonna get clipped and the the dp rc to get over the cube was that was pretty gangster that was gangster <laughs> that was big brain actually i might have to check patrick's what just to see him pop off over that he that was have. sick surely just see you can pop off mm -hmm. but just before we go to Lose the side of the bracket. Let's quickly do something we haven't had a chance to do yet because it's been so fast and furious here in the winner's side of the bracket. It's shield that Macharino! Exclamation mark Macharino! Fill up that prize pool below us. All you have to do is log in with your Twitch account, click that claim code button, and as you can see, Hersha W with the $10 dono. So already over the 20 mark. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. And for the rest of you guys. Don't let one person carry it away. It's easy. It's free as well. It doesn't cost anything. Just go to the Match Reno link. You've got nothing better to do than hear us fill time. So go click some buttons over on that website. Give the players the money they deserved, especially after the first two matches we've seen. They definitely, do... they've definitely earned those uh, currency points, please. I'm going to do my favorite pastime now, which is go to the contributions in Match Reno and just point out all the players that were in the bracket that didn't claim a code yet. Tisk, those tisk, those tisk, are the tisk. best ones, especially if they're in top eight as well. You have the best <laughs> chance. <laughs> Imagine being so privileged you don't need money. That's 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 top eight sometimes.
That's crazy. It's the ones that wait until they win to claim. Those are the most toxic ones. Toxic. That is toxic. Can't be doing that. Gonna get gonna get yourself a bad rap. Yeah, shout out to everyone in stream. I see man like Retsu. See Hirsch as well. I didn't realize how stacked the top eight was. I'm not gonna lie. Should have checked it before I jumped on. It's uh got some pretty heavy hitters. Good mix of characters as well. It's been a while since I've seen a ram. I feel when I look back, it was it was definitely more than Zando. <laughs> but ever since I've seen Zando play Asuka, I've not seen any rams in EU. Literally just Armix. But Armix yeah. doesn't play online that much. So <laughs> yeah. it's like other than OTB, I think Zander does. There's man like Tiger Pops in the chat. Oh. So I, th I think Zander yeah. still does in the UK, but other than that, it's like mm. Scarce. Rare character, man. But these two characters, not so rare, especially since the buff both of these characters got. Seeing them a little bit more. Geo and May. Oh my gosh, May! What was the corner carry? Oh my. Ragan said, you know what? I'll back through you and just take you back to the corner. Take you all across the world. Alright, fade away, jump S. Does land, couldn't get it confirmed. Yeah, Dolphin shenanigans, 6H, good. Dash block, got an IB off of it as well. Mmm, yum yum, plus frames. It's crazy that Gio had plus frames off that and decided, you know what? I need more plus frames. The greediness of Gio wanting just more and more plus frames. Next next season, Gio's gonna get a move that's like, yeah, I'm plus 50 now. Yeah. This uh these double figures still ain't high enough. I need more. Triple digit soon at this yeah. rate. Ooh, that was mixed. RC off the poor man stun dipper. I like it. To the corner. Oh my gosh, you are getting anchored. And this is a 1v1 game. How does that even work out? It's <gasps> trying to tie down Geo. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> she's throwing you into the plus frames. 2S connects. Break that ball. Yeah, use Wild Assault. Go for the hard knockdown, why not? Now you got 50 tension, and even though you're just gonna catch the back dash anyway, straight into super. Not even give Ragan the option to burst, but it's not enough damage. And I might give them the chance. Ragan looking, greeting for that gold burst, but not quite close enough. Crushing Mon takes that first game. The Mago button, 2D, the god. Utilizing not just the sick range it's got. But the fact that he can make a gold burst with. I mean, back in the day, it was gold and blue. But yeah, now, just look at the distance they were at. And if it hits, you get confirmed. You always get confirmed if it's off a of 2D. It's such a good button yeah. from uh, Geo. So why not? Yeah, and before it was sort of just that into the little flip kick. Sepatula. But now it's like, well, you can, if you've got the burst available, you could even go Orange Wild Assault into some Chave style combos. Mm -hmm. Sky's the limit now for those 2D confirms. What side was that on? Bro. That little cross up initially and then landed in front. There was drift on the anchor. Hold on. <laughs> Bro, I'm back to Dragon Ball. Literally got. <laughs> we've got floats. Oh, yeah, you can't back this with me either. Perfect for Rygan. <laughs> Float is in the swimming pool, ladies and gentlemen. Get out. Ooh. Stick check. Nice fighty <laughs> timing. Stay out of the skies. Grounded footsies here in Strive. Geo's turf. Time on the burst. Doesn't want to give Crusher on positive bonus. Might take it by force though if you're not careful. 50 tension on both sides. PRC. Oh, wow. This anchor's hitting all this... sorts of angles. This. This anchor might be featured in Tekken. It might be a Tekken weapon for all I know, <laughs> in customization. There are 3D angles. The Z plane is getting hit on right now. Like Batsu anchors in full effect, bro. They, it doesn't, it hasn't missed. It's been, it's been smoked by a uh, pinwheel from Geo, but when it's coming down, who knows what side to block. And I love that Avatar's got the anchor as well. He knows the, the sheer power. It's like a Keyblade. He's wielding it. He's, he doesn't understand. The potential in it. It's crazy. You have <laughs> the key anchor and then electric wind god dolphin. You actually can't stop. How do you defeat that? Bro, I've I've heard that May's being Mickey Mouse in a one-on-one, -on -one, bro. 
she's a uh, she's about in that his, life in his clubhouse as well that's the scary part <laughs> pretty was in the back in tears bro he just <laughs> wanted some treats bro <laughs> goofy these... goofy wasn't happy about that one <laughs> Losh. Losh, mickey oh, he just waited in overhead kicks bro. <laughs> Yo, Rygan is on one. I like this. Mm, just block some weak or crush him, man. Let's do something to fight back. And the angles that Rygan's jumping in on makes it difficult to go for that pinwheel that crush him on showed off earlier. Obviously, if it's a raw jump in, Rygan can kind of anticipate that a little, but when it's in these awkward spots, it's kind of a bit hard. You're not too certain which side to input on. It can make it a bit difficult. And sometimes Ragan can just maneuver out of it like that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, with the JD, yeah, it makes it so tricky. Like you were saying, not just the angles, it's the being able to stall in the air with JD. Uh, making you whiff a pinwheel and then, like you said, not knowing if you're on the left or on the right hand side can be very frustrating like that. See? So yeah, that answer, when it hits, it's really good, but consistency, maybe not the one. Waking up punching, though, that is clearly something that's <laughs> worked once against Mon, but oh, yeah, taking off like forty percent there. Gotta be careful, Rygan. Yeah, maybe Rygan's calling out that Krushman is not quite getting the Chave meet timings. Oh, nice time on the dive kick super though. Gonna steal away that round and Krushman a chance to take the lead in this set. Rygan though, almost got burst available. Mostly likely gonna get it off the next hit, so Krushman's gotta be careful. Mm, there it comes right, right there and immediately double JD trying to get out of there but Crushamon saying I'm no scrub Straight back down to earth big plus frames looking for the shimmy but Rygan's just gonna punch you in the mouth Dylan Danis needs some lessons off this man I'm telling you <laughs> Yep, yeah, yeah, but Crushamon taking it pre a very preemptive pinwheel uh, it is definitely one of those situations, especially when your opponent's showing that they're just willing to stand in your face, wait for you to stand up, and then throw you. Uh, you've got to kind of keep them in check a little bit by doing some unorthodox wake-up moves. Uh, Pinwheel not having ground involved, so it doesn't beat any strikes on the floor. So going for something like that, you have to have an idea of what your opponent's going to go for. And uh, it makes sense. It makes sense. Let's see if they can keep it up, though. I think the score's, what, 2-1 uh, to Mon? Two one. Crush Mon? Yeah, I think so. Sure. I got faith in Ratch. If it was Ice, I'd have less faith. But Ratch, I've got faith. <laughs> You're trying to say Ice can't count? It's happened no. in the past. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. It's not yes or no. It's just check the tapes. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's evidence. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is there, are we getting a... Character swap or is the lobby bugged? The aura is too strong. He broke the uh, cabinet. There we go. We're back on there. Change his keyblade. That's what he did. Yeah, not enough strength. Or maybe it was magic. Who knows? Mm. Water rage. Fire It's time. Time to get lit. Right, you're going to need <laughs> something to get going here. 2 1 down. Made some moves in some of the rounds, but. Push him on overall, having control. However, counter hits like that are exactly what May's going to be looking for all day. Especially with the vertical dolphin as well. Nice 5k challenge though, coming out from Crushing Mon. Yeah, once again, taking this guy, making it really awkward for Crushing Mon to Annie here. Uh, and it's, it seems like it's at a height where Geo couldn't com comfortably jump up throw either. So it is kind of rough. I don't know what you can do in those situations because. You can see Rygan always trying to stay on top, not just jumping arbitrarily in the air. They want to find the blind spot, and yeah, they seem to have uh, identified it perfectly. Yeah, it, it feels like Rygan's actually just playing uh, that game that BP Tank hosted at Dragon Pools. Arca was it Arcana Hearts? I can't quite remember. No, in BP Tank, it probably was Arcana Hearts or Aqua Any Plaza, something like that. Yeah, and he literally told me, yeah, A Superiori, whoever's above is the winner in the set, no matter what. And that's what Ragan's kind of just going for in this set. That's definitely the game plan. And especially against Geo, it's like, 
It's just not the best air to air button, so avoiding the ground as much as possible can definitely work, but it's only so long. Ooh, go in instead for the tech situation, but Ragan just going to double JD out of there. Yeah, I don't know. You, you see, Happy Chaos is going for that, right? Because they can just track wherever you bounce to off of the wall with their gun. But seeing a Geo doing it, like you said, not really having the the air presence to kind of stop me jumping around. Maybe it was a misinput. Either way, it's 2 2. Rygan pulling it back. And yeah, like I said, I, I think the the attributions of the jump game from Rygan is making it really hard. Once. Crushamon's grounded Dragon, it looks more in their favor, but doing that is just a task in itself. Yeah, and when Crushamon's doing these kind of weird situations at the wall as well, it's just helping Ragand out. So let's see. Game five here. Loser out of the bracket tied seventh. Winner goes on to face Equilibrium. So the Asuka slash Jacko waiting in the wings to face the winner of this set. Have we got an update on if uh, Sir Bumfluff? Oh, that. Let me see. That went game five against Kuenka. Oh. That was. The, Bumfluff was close. <laughs> would, Jonesy, would you say it was a uh, sweaty Bumfluff gaming? It. The, Gonna need a towel for that one. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, they beat. Uh, they did beat times up, but yeah, couldn't make it on stream. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to hear Jonesy say that name. But wow, <laughs> we do have the two-two final game. Let's see who's gonna take it. The burst potentially wanted to try and keep the corner that time, but Crushamon did escape, and now putting on the offense. Showing off those loops with the Chave routes. Gonna get the purple beats. Okay, Gargrush says thank you very much. Is that super enough? Not quite the magic pixel time. Stall in the air. Oh my god, Ragan landed, and this could be risky for Crushing Mon. It is me. The damage is there. But surely not. Surely this low life. There you go. Never stopped. Going for that option, right? The pinwheel, especially in that situation, kind of makes sense. You didn't have to worry about getting the combo. It just needs to hit. And the one time Rygan didn't do jump D, got clipped on the way down. And now, oh, the ground has been established. Like adjustment as well. That was aerial hit off that far slash. Clean stuff there from Crushamon. RC trying to find the way in. Tried to stagger the throw, but didn't quite time the throw correctly. Wake up, goal burst. Gets blocked and Rygan gets the jump in. Goes for the setup. Doesn't quite work wow. though. And we're just going to steal away the turn anyway. Spend all YRC. our tension. Yeah, the, the YRC basically making a 100 tension option. Not in 4 8, but 5k. Where are you going? And we're getting the last game. No player with burst. <gasps> wow, that confirms. Do it. It missed once. Do it again. It's the damage off this. Got tension as well to spend to keep the pressure up. PRC goes low. Makes all with the wild assault. Denies Ragan the burst, and there's a hard knockdown here. Let's see if Ragan was going to press there. Makes it with the <gasps> Carve, counter hit, far slash. Uh -huh. Oh, they might have thought they were going to get. Maybe they thought burst. they were going to get burst. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. If you lose because of that, Dice Game might get an email with red font. Because that burst bar is really hard to see on dark stages. Backdash doesn't get counted. PLC to keep it safe. Oh, that was cheeky. And that actually results in the win. Crush him on. Does take it. Maybe a little bit later than he could have, but got it in the end. Better late than never. The Geo arrives exactly on time. Jeez. That was sick as well going for the overhead because off. Every other PRC that Crushamon has done, they've immediately gone instant 2S. Mm -hmm. And then just when you needed it the most, there's that JP coming and clutch the overhead, like you said. I mean, Crushamon going to move on in the loser's run. Unfortunately for Raikan, that loser's run ends. Tied 7th today. Valiant effort, though. That was a really sick set. Uh, and like you said, yeah, just... 
pulling out the stops in the last situation going for the overhead would have gone for the low so many times and to be fair may technically is a charge character so more than likely charge characters are going to be holding down back as a default like that's the natural position so going for the overhead in that situation pretty smart again the the two games that Rygon won were super convincing super super convincing completely exploited uh, a weakness in the character and the player's tendency to deal with someone above their head it's scary mm -hmm. when there's an anchor up there to be fair but uh yeah good good game from both players yeah gravity alone makes that anchor super scary <laughs> yeah don't play may on earth it's, it's, it's long it's not looney tunes that ain't the knack me <laughs> anchor it's not like a fake anchor or anything yeah let's go other side of losers andros on the potemkin up against Kuenka on the eno the Spanish, the Spanish team kill. You hate to see it if you're from Spain. If you're not, you're probably happy to see both of these characters because one of them has to lose and that's going to please half the population, right? Part of the grappler, the character people love to hate and Eno, the most annoying of, I, I don't know what they call it. I don't know what Corgis call it, but having a dash that puts you airborne. Yeah, it's a trait that I despise as a charge character player. Yeah, now with the new move as well, I love Agateo. It's like, it's an aerial forward advancing move that gives Eno plus frames for more mix. But it might not even matter. Eno, without me to work with, stuck in the corner, holding all of those. It might not even matter, Cuenca. Corner carry. Gonna get that wall break with the Fortissimo. Get the positive bonus. Yeah, play him a tune. No, no. Maybe try to go for a fuzzy. Not too sure, but the dust. Quick, rapid, and fast enough to get the win there, even though it was looking pretty dire for Andros. Here we go, though. In his face. Gotta love it when a grappler gets command grabbed. Oh! No hugs. No hugs. This is not MCM Expo. No hugs. Oh, my. COVID <laughs> spacing has been enabled. Oh, the confirm in the Fortissimo needs one more here. Finds it off the low. Kuenka answering straight back with the perfect. Wow, explosive start. Trying to catch some sort of mobility option on Kuenka's side with the hammer fall. Does not pay off. Oh, listen to buy my mixtape. Listen to the music. Break the wall with the dust and is about to get 50 tension here with any dash forward. Wow. He's swinging, Jonesy. I love it. Oh, P.O.S. The Dow Sultry performance was perfect timing. What a block Boy. as well. I'm tired of blocking. Said I'm a hammer fall. I got armor. <laughs> Bro. No punish, but gets the counter here anyway. Ooh. I think there was a slight delay after that hammer fist and Andros thought, oh, you're not punishing this? Oh, let me press. And then Kirk was like, ah, no, 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 no. Counter hit. Chill, mm -hmm. relax. <laughs> Bro, those, those blocks, even though they're just two high blocks, were actually insane. <laughs> like, they are... So it just highs out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> they were crazy time to go for a high. And it looked like it looked like Andros blocked them on reaction because he was crouching in between them. I... He was like, oh, I see this. I see this. I want to see if Andros does another hammer for a round start because it doesn't even back catch the backdash. That's the crazy part. Oh, that might have worked on the 6P. You know what? Oh, burst in there. That's actually not bad timing, because now if Kuenka gets hit by like a random 2D or something, it's all Andros. He tried to fish for it there. Doesn't work out, though. Bro. Bro. <laughs> you know... Hold on. Yo, poor, poor. The legacy of having... Mix. All the... What's he got? He's got the... I think he's got the defense, high, a high defense modifier, but low guts. I think it's that way around. So the first hit always does mad damage on Pot. Mm. But then it's really hard to kill him at the later part of the co uh, of the game. What? Yeah, it's, 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 it's at this part, right? Where it starts becoming a little bit harder. As you can see on the health bar showing off 5D. Still not enough. And Andros is going to go, yeah. Gigantakai. Put that up. Walk your anchor to the corner. Brothers that might work. <gasps> oh, blue burst buffs. Yo, the tip of the guitar, just the right space in there, but that was looking dire. Just following the Aegis shield towards Quinker's death into the corner, but found a way out like Houdini. But now on the I ground. That... I think 
think in the previous patch, that's a great option, but in this patch, when especially the opponents got positive, right? It's like, well, you're letting them get the burst gate back for free, and because of that patience, because of that walk down, that Menkoenko off those GPs did get burst available. Now I've got to hold this Garuda into the buster. Say goodbye to your life, or as that gets PRC to extend. And Andros looking to tie things up here. Big swing and momentum here. 6P whiffs, 2D whiffs. Oh my gosh, in your face. Ignorance at its finest. Just skipping neutral. Oh, I don't want to buy your mixtape. Who even buys tapes anymore, man? Upgrades. MP3, oh, please. All digital. Yeah. If you're not here. Come on. Napster, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Livewire. Oh. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> and before we do it, 5P. Why Wild Assault? That is toxic. That's, <laughs> That's aggressive. Pretty savage. That's overly aggressive for no reason. I'm mad at combos. <laughs> I lied to you. Why does that combo? Anyone, please? Toxic. Oh, Happy Axe has got bars. Poxic? Poxic. That's the new term. Poxic oh. Buster. That's what I'm calling that now. I'm a fan that... of that. I'm a fan of that. I mean, because like if you backdash, that's actually kind of sick though. Because you back, if you try and backdash on wake up and the 5p whiffs, why Wild Assault's there to chase that backdash down? That's kind of disgusting. Grimy. Oh, 6p straight into the burst. Shrinky just says no, please no. <laughs> please no. You got that 6p buffed. Back in the day when Pot couldn't 6p and Cavs wins or anything. <laughs> Bad oh, times. No. Oh, you are meterless in the corner against Pot. Honestly, you might as well just. Just take the heart away now. Just give the round up. No You're getting Garuda to death, basically. <gasps> that POC was sick, Andros. Catching the backdash. Bruv, when... It's probably already been done, but Pot needs a Marissa voice line now. Where are you going? Ooh. Okay, Chemical Love. Really late flick and really late slide head. Perfect timing, though. Utilizing the armor to avoid the... Stroke the big tree. That was crazy sick from both players. Craig was like, I know you're going to flick this, so I'm just going to stroke under to get the punish. Mm -hmm. oh. Good. Oh my. Sets up into the Garuda as well. That is disgusting. Now you're stuck in this corner. Why wild assault? Let me skip this neutral real quick. Hold on. You, you thought I was going back? Nah. We're charging forward. Bro. That was a Marissa. Where are you going? Imagine thinking it's your turn to escape. Nope. Nope. Stay in this corner. Andros is indeed a monster. And it's weird because it only happens uh, so often, right? I guess as Potemkin, as a player, you can't always get those good reads or those uh, good reactions to start your game plan. Mm. And I mean, other than probably Millie and Chip, Eno's a pretty hard character to catch. And Andros just seems to be doing that just fine, it feels like. He's setting up his knockdowns in a way that gets him the Mii Garuda, so there's no way for Kuenka to try and get out of the situation, so has to hold that. However, moves around the slide head right there is wanted Frankie hitting us with the raid, which appreciated. Big ups. Give your power to, to the Eno. Oh, <gasps> boy! Oh, dude, so sick. Bro, what? what oh, oh he believes. You are the... Yeah, I was uh, about to say. You're just sick. Yeah, you're just the best. Start. Like, okay, fair enough. Bro, he did the PRC overdraft with invincibility, and Quenka said, nah. Mm -hmm. And got perfect while taking the opponent's burst. That is winning, bro. That's Wenka. Going for the slump, could have maybe wild assaulted to go for the hard knockdown, but opted for the slump, giving Andros that burst gauge. He might end up getting full burst at this rate. Oh my god, Hammerfall connects RC. Oh no, he pressed something off the 5P. I think that was going to be safe. Oh, what? <laughs> what did he? He might have got impulse crossed up, but I still can't tell what move what Andros got out. I'm immediate. I've clicked the clip button. I'm frame one looking at that. I'm trying to figure out that. What was that move? I, 
I want to say it was like he got crossed and got maybe like heat knuckle or something by mistake. You got wild assault. Oh, that. Okay, that makes sense. Right, 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 right. Mm. Maybe when it deflects and got wild assault because they got crossed up. I mean, deflecting, I guess, versus Eno makes sense because then you avoid the high low. You just get absolute guard, right? If you time it properly, so. Yeah. Oh, fire, fire. Yeah, she doesn't want it. No NPC streamers here. Don't say that. Don't just say that. <laughs> no fire here. Garuda. Oh, blocking the 5D. That's fine. Garuda right back. Run it again. Yep, just do it again. Nice tension you're spending. Straight into the Poxit Buster. Ugh. Most toxic of grapplers. Bro, 2-2 two, two again. And each round just goes in each other's favor. I'm pretty sure both players have got perfect on each other. The snowball effect. Oh, yeah. Is huge on these two characters. It's the low, but burst here from Andros. Couldn't block the double overheads. Spend the bar here. Oh. Not much. That felt like it looked like a missing put, but not 100% sure. Still, they're going to get to spend the tension for putting the pressure on. On your plus frames. Fortis my right back at you, but backdash. Pop Buster. The classic. It will never go away. <gasps> I respect it. Yeah, I respect it too. If you're gonna do it to him, do it to him properly, bro. There's the pop bust around. Him. You're a guy, yeah. <laughs> you, that's the thing. They hit one pop bust, they're like, yeah, I'm doing it again. <laughs> no way, he's expecting this one. It's the blessing Ooh. and the curse. It wow, is... since we catching the landing frames. <gasps> that little done about that lamp. Hammer fall. That might be the fall of the life bar. Try to go for the reset, but Mega Fist said no. Denied. Side oh, switch we... bombos. Could have extended, got the wall bounce with the 6k, but it doesn't matter, finds the hit anyway. White Wild Assault. Yeah, New wasn't quite gonna kill, so now you got the hard knockdown, Garuda. Good what timing. Oh, I think that was 5p. Either way, it was enough to stop the advance on Eno and Andros, giving us another free two set and taking it. Damn me, yeah. I mean. Both players, like I said, they had their moments, right? They had their clippable times where they got their perfect on the opponent. But yeah, at the end of the day, came back down to last game, last round, and uh, Andros came out on top. It's crazy because they're so hectic and volatile. It's hard to pin down exactly what each player kind of maybe didn't do as well as the other, right? Because... They'll do something really sick at the start and then they get adapted on and then by the last game then they've made the adaption right back at the opponent so it's it's hard to straight away identify exactly what went went wrong for Kuenka, but still a sick show and tied seventh here today yeah good stuff good stuff get to see some more pot in the bracket it'll be fun uh We're gonna be look. facing sando that's going to be the set after this next upcoming one, I do believe. And of course, in the meantime, there is the Macharino exclamation mark Macharino sitting on 34 codes. Let's get those claimed up as soon as look to pay out the winners of this bracket. Just like the sound soundboard said. Yeah, where did they do it? No. Okay, mm. fair enough. Thanks. Thanks, LTG. He's always uh, right. Dual one. You're, yeah, I can't argue with it. There's no counterpoint to it. It's just, <laughs> you're not wrong. Incalibrum up against Krushman, and this time going with the Asuka instead of Jacko. But that is in the pocket, depending on how the matchup goes. But right now, it's going clearly for the Spanish Asuka into deck three. But the man is now gone, though. Gotta be very careful. Yeah, I could I could think that Asuka could, could benefit from the positive fairly well. He does get his mana back up, but now he's on the defense, and that is not good because there is only two cards at his disposal, and one of them is not a DP. So he has to block this out like a reasonable gentleman until they get hit by the dust. No, they block it out.
All right, I think we're back. Discord, please. Discord? It's good. Uh, it's looking better. Discord? There we go. I think we're stable. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. Okay, okay, okay. Kind of missed that round. Yeah, Discord got hit by the cubes themselves. Hate to see it. <laughs> there we go, though. Whoa! Wild Assault to get back in there, gets hit with the dusk. Oh my gosh, he was concentrating. He was card counting. Get banned at all casinos. Oh, good check on the teleport with the low. Now hold these plus frames. Oh, face down, covering the jump back. Even YRC does connect with the cube, finds the confirm and takes that first game. The Spanish Asuka taking game one here. In loser's court is looking to get that top four spot today. Yeah, and being able to cycle through two characters is definitely something I feel a lot of the plays in Guilty Gear don't show. Uh, being able to like flexi pick at this kind of level is, is really hard. Normally, someone's got a character that's a little bit uh, more seasoned than the pocket. But I feel that Lee Broom can play both players, uh, both characters, sorry, at the same level. Yeah, best himself from Calibrum, gonna just gather a bit of mana back as well. Cycling through deck one, holding on to deck one for now. And there we go, straight on to deck number three. Doesn't have the tension to go in the bookmark, doesn't have burst available to get Crushing Mon off him as well. And Crushing gonna keep all this pressure going right now. The barrier gone and all it takes is one big hit the throw not quite enough needs to find one more here the yrc getting blocked crushing on with the awareness to close that round out dire straights when you don't have your mana taking the double damage is eye watering sometimes but the shield on at the moment so reducing the pain that's getting delivered to them but they need some space again you need to get restraining order on geo because she is all up in my man's grill, please. He is not letting him breathe. And that is going to break the barrier as well. This is a rough situation for Equilibrium. Tries to deflect, but the RC just nullifies that completely. Crush him on immediately answering back. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. That's the best way to go. Oh, I know this character is strong, but they're only strong when they get a chance to play. And uh, yeah, like, we, like everyone is saying, if you don't have the iceberg, it's uh, it's bad. It's mm. bad for this character not really having an escape. Sometimes you can use a teleport, but then you have to have started to have won, I feel, because you have to get into test case three uh, to even have the opportunity to get the teleport. It's not something readily available to you in deck one. Oh, we've got the iceberg though. Okay. You need to spend it at the moment. There's a cube catching the dash, maybe like a dash bar rest. Kushman was looking for that didn't quite work out. Going straight to the bookmark in deck one. So I don't want that ice cube anymore. I guess realize the situation, said I'm putting the pressure on. I don't need the reversal. Yeah. So I'm just gonna carry on. Yeah, it's drinking neat. No uh no rum on the rocks. Ooh, oh you I was about to say <laughs> it was looking like you might have needed that rock in the first uh in this situation, oh no. Are you going to regret shuffling into your graveyard? I oh, please no. Please no. That <gasps> punished. Oh no. And that's going to break the wall with the barrier gone. That card decision might be costly. Bursting with no mana, no HP. It was a bold burst. But I think he might have to cross that burst out. It's not gone in possibly the last round of this game. This is why discard decks never a matter, man. You never know when you need the card that you get rid of. Right, 50% though, taken away. Double backdash. And Geo's like, you think you're still in range? Do you know that? I'm not sure if you're aware. I can still hit you from there, though. <laughs> I haven't noticed. My dash covers like four of your backdashes. <laughs> Just in case you haven't realized, Barrier gone once again. Alright, Michael's here just to get some breathing room. 
Blue Wild Assault as well. Wow, double Blue Wild Assault. Just spending all of that mana regen to put the pressure on. Oh my gosh. That's kind eyes. of a... Smooth. I actually like that decision. Going aggressive and just spending all the burst to keep the pressure on. Mm -hmm. As the way to get your barrier back. And it pays off there. For a Calibrum. Good stuff there. Yeah. I'm a fan. All the elements, bruv. Electric, fire. Yeah, keep them at bay. None of them are super effective, though, unfortunately. All right. You're blocked. Gets a goal burst. Oh, yeah. Run. Run. Head for the hills. Oh, oh no. Bit on the throw. That's going to be a huge amount of damage. You cash out. Oh, no. Wow. Take those. The resets. Never mind. Crushamon's just playing with the food, and the throw is enough. Yeah, she's throwing you. Crushamon. <laughs> That throw did like 20%, bro. <laughs> but tapped out. It was all tapped out of mana, so. Yeah, gotta be careful. Those uh, matches, the swings around about the suit card just. We saw it, right? In one round, we saw it all in his favor. And then. I don't even know they, like. I think they just missed, like, a meaty on the knockdown after the wall break. Mm. And then Geo just brought it back. Like, cool. I've got nothing to be scared of. Other than stopping you from like jumping that's all i've got to worry about i don't have to worry about any reversals any involve moves i'm just gonna keep on you and you know keep pressing you with these buttons pop down a hit push him on probably trying to flap away the cube nice movement to avoid the rocks as well forces the burst from the calibrum there's hollow mana he is and all it takes is one combo with the wall damage to lose all that mana and the barrier so gotta be very careful of this corner pressure has to endure for now. Doing so, blocking away. Krushamon chipping away, but does eventually get hit by the counter hit. And now it's the Calibrum's chance to cook. 6 H block. And now we're going through that deck free. Red Eyes Black Dragon once again. Get some plus frames. Not much, but the pressure is mounting. Taking advantage of the little bit of risk that they put on. And it's almost at 50 tension, but Krushamon is already on the 50 tension. How are they going to use it? So maybe. <gasps> There is. Ooh. Trying to see if maybe Calibrum was going to go for something crazy. Doesn't work out. Burst yet again. But the mana is just not there for the Asuka. Where is the land? Bro, I did not realize that Geo's water sword basically is full screen. <laughs> it makes Closing sense. The gap. Considering her moveset and her dash alone, right? It's like... It's annoying, but it does make sense. Yeah. Mm, Blocking again. the overheads. Red eyes. Black dragon hits this time. Oh my. I think they could have confirmed that. Maybe looking for the burst. Ooh. I actually buffered the wild assault, though. No burst gauge on Asuka's side. Goes for the TP mix. Push him on ready, though. And then just TP jabs out. Ooh, our bots. Optimus Prime arm coming out of the books. Saying, give me some space. Oh, kick through the cube. And it actually didn't take the cube there, which is interesting. Even though we did see the start of it coming out. Oh, I'm throwing. Oh, now I'm getting plus frames. Wake up cube. Oh, you're a savage. That is crazy. You're actually a wizard. <gasps> Whoa, Christian Mon, chill. All the, all the cross-ups. <laughs> Do you need to count? Oh, and challenge kind of worked out, though. Wild Assault, the man is not there on the Calibrum side though, even if he does find the hit, goes for the Particle Sphere to break the wall. But he's going to need to regain some mana, either spend some of that tension or some of that HP. Spend a bit of that HP too, but... <gasps> and the cards for the mix. Okay, gets the cubes out, but the man is so low, it does not matter, 5D connects! Bro, he had to dig deep for that one. He had to dig deep. I don't think most people have seen that, right? He got the, the portal cubes out and then had no mana for any other spells. So it's like, I'm going to go back to basics. High low. I'm a fan. I'm Classic. a fan. I did just like that. Another game five. Went there for the long haul. But I'm, I'm enjoying the games. So it's all good. I like these uh, last games. When has that been now? I actually got a count. Let's see. 
I want to say it's the third one. The I mean, only one yeah. that wasn't was the first set, right? All the loser side sets have been game fives. Yeah. Rough. People don't know when to quit. Been giving up nice time on the 6p. Gonna spend those deck one cards. Sitting in deck three right now. So need to start rotating. Does get the mana, and this is a huge, huge win for a Calibrum. PRC, nice throw there. Yep, flames. YRC, yeah, it wasn't blocking, so he kind of takes his turn back. Oh no, are you in the blender? You might be in the blender. Need to find a way out. Do you have? You do have teleport. Don't need it. Just jump back. P actually stops the oppression from Prashamon. That was 18 H. <laughs> the mass just added up. Prashamon said, "That's fine. I had a calculator ready. I know my times tables." Oh, what a 5H! Said you're not going through your deck right now. Lose that mana, lose that barrier, lose the round. Crush him on now. One round away from carrying on in this loser's run. Sick call out. Can't really run that same script, right? The uh, block strings into, into summon it isn't always real. Crush him on showing that. But this time, looks like he's adapted. Oh, the dust. The asbestos is coming out. Wild Assault going to get that hard knockdown. Take a little bit of your opponent's burst bar as well. 2D. The ba These characters probably have the best 2Ds in the game. It's actually the, the battle of who has the best line. Yep. Straight up. It actually is. You got the True 2 that. dog and the wave. Gets <laughs> <laughs> burst. No, it's handling too bad though. Yeah, true. Try to beat wow. the ice out. Try to beat the ice out. Just get the delayed hit. Once the mix, 5D does connect and the man is now gone. But it's not enough. No, cancel into the super. <gasps> Catching out the startup of the load. The 2P connects and crushing one. Sends the Spanish Asuka out of the bracket. In that tied fifth spot and crushing one. The UK Geo. Moving on to top four, moving on to losers' semis now. Crazy match. Again, it was sort of similar to the match we had prior with the kind of like duality of the two characters. Geo wanted to rush you down. Asuka technically rushes you down just from a safe distance, right? He rushes you down with cubes coming at you. And um, we saw the effect of both players' strategy come to fruition. In that last game, you definitely saw, even though like you was mentioning, I didn't really check it, but Asuka had a good hand. <laughs> they just never got a chance to use it, right? They jumped and dash pinwheel worked two times, so. Yeah, he had a... Can't even, like, complain about the hand in that situation. I guess the cubes were all blue, but you still had the ice, you still had cubes, so all in all, other than maybe missing an overhead, I don't know what else you want more in a deck one starter. Mm. True. True. Yeah, yeah. And we did see them go, okay, if you're not going to give me overhead uh, with the spells, I'll just use 5D instead. Oh, yeah, exactly. And uh, that seems to work out quite often. I think more than most characters, just because one, I think because he's got a rock spell that's a low. <laughs> as soon as you see rocks, you kind of want to crouch. Uh, and if you're not fast enough to react to that, it's normally that you're worried about pressure more than uh, the high low, right? You kind of crouch block normally up close because of fawns. Yeah. Uh, but m other things are just, oh, I'll just block mid. I'll just block mid. Book's really slow, so I can uh, kind of react to that. Is sort of what goes through your mind. But when you're under pressure, your mind can frazzle a little bit. So. Crush him on definitely showed off those reactions. So many 6H's got blocked. Yeah. Stick defense from him. But what is sick is people that claim the codes. Those that don't claim the codes. Enjoy being stuck at floor 10. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. If you don't claim a code, then you're not getting Celestial. I don't argue with Jonesy. I'm just trying to be as honest as I can. And we get another Asuka, Zandu, in the loser's side of the bracket up against Andros. And obviously back in the day, the loser's side, Zandu Ram was the actual demon of the EMEA scene. Well, let's see if the Asuka can live up to that legend. Sticking it to Chumpkin so far. 
but oh man you're talking a lot of smack for someone in close s range Hot go into business garuda prc i don't know what side they're on but they're gonna get quincy both for the trouble andros in the corner here oh the megatron jabs fawns 2k just that range but there's a 2d in full effect and here he opens the portal to another realm and he's got another portal locked and loaded ready waiting to spend it oh okay Who's that? Ooh. I don't even know what what interaction even happens. It like soaked up some of it, but Pot still got hit by part of the sphere. That's janky, but hey, we roll with it. This might just be chip right now. Very little tension. Just go through all the cards. Low mana cost on the cards as well, and eventually Andrus had to do something to get out of there. Yeah, that was the. Uh... Blocking set play. Oh my, that was so gas. Flip the Q straight into, sorry, 5P the Q straight into flick. That was gas. Oh no, no, oh no, yeah. You have to block after that. There was way too many cubes coming your way. Hold onto this fire blast, slow cubes, fawns. Thunderbolt overhead, gets blocked. I don't think you could punish though. Yeah, get out of the corner. Okay. Not sure about that deflect shield though. Maybe both of them wanted wild assault, but either way. Still gonna get clipped by the portal of cubes, and it sounds like a pretty nice. That mana card is sitting pretty, waiting for the moment for Zando to pop it. With so much attention as well, just gonna bookmark, run it back once more. The deck almost empty, but that just means it's gonna get refilled right on up if Zando goes through it. And there we go, the refill on the deck. Guess the TP cross or and secures that first game. Yep, one of them, one of those games when you just have to look at the hand, look at the hand, and then you have an idea of where the match is going. Uh, and there's, I, I feel that Andros is dealing well with Asuka from far away, which is quite hard with a you know a big body character, right? Hasn't got all the mobility tools like a double jump IAD, he hasn't got a run, uh, but he was dealing with it fairly well, like knowing when to flick the cues, when to five P them. Uh, it was just the offense in his face that he couldn't really deal with, which is understandable. There's not many gaps in there to pop buster in. Yeah, the moment it's like Asuka sort of far S range, it becomes a lot more difficult because the gap is so little there. Got the gravity staff though. It's time for the cheese in time. Never mind. Oh. And I'm saying I got that armor. What? How did he get into the air? <laughs> did he do Mega Fist at BRC? That was forbidden tech. Actual. Dark Hearts. I respect it. You need to go all out. Good take. Oh, again, yeah. Can't find it really hard to jump over the cubes. Nice 5P on that one. This is trade. No. I guess not because it's overdrive then. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes Maybe. sense. Maybe. Oh, 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 wait. God. <laughs> Bro. I'm not going to lie. I play Zodas. I think that's the first time I've ever seen someone get baited with a projectile. With the projectile. <laughs> he did projectile staff to make it not get punished by the flick. Bro, the staff sucked him into the cube to kill. That's... Asuka didn't need to do anything. The staff had his back. Well... I... This is long. Oh my god. But Andros is really smart about fighting against the cubes. I mean, Xando just just went to layer four like that was unfortunate he wasn't ready but look at this the That's... navigation here from andros is gassed that was a perfect check calling out the staff call out but needs to put the pressure on unfortunately can ask the respect because of the staff and another one comes out as well and what does andros even do in this situation yeah, i know he didn't 5p <laughs> yeah i thought was the best option though just block and just get pushed back away from the staff so you're just avoiding as much of the gravity cubes as possible but with double tp andros is kind of anticipating a raw tp, TP but zando's not giving it red eyes again he's gonna be able to block this doesn't try to avoid it or go he heat knuckled oh that's oh no he 5 p but he's it's still just yeah face. had to 5p the big cube but there was a second bigger cube facts the uh the size that's, that's all it is <laughs> evidence the size does matter for the cubes oh no that's for the cubes for oh the cubes. for the cubes okay for the cubes for the minecraft players hmm. for the robloxes 
Is that what they... Because obviously got Minecrafters. I don't even know if Minecrafters is a term, to be honest. It is now. You've got it out there. Wow, I'm making it. Yeah, you set the trends. Don't copy them. Yeah. Viral. Minecrafters, Robloxers. <laughs> Drivers, we're all together. Oh. Ooh, all right, let's see what's in hands. the book. Oh, he's got the mana regen. Oh, that's even more toxic. Jumping up and doing the portal cube. There is no way Pot can do anything about that. He's already struggling when the portal's on the ground. That's just unfair. That's actually cyberbullying. Oh, and he gets oh. clipped trying to do the slide head. Bro, the cube's OTG'd. I wonder if closest might have actually connected. Nice time on the 5P though. Gets rid of the cube. Mana's looking low and there's no mana card right now for Zando. Ah, but he has the bookmark ready. Slide head again. You can see Zando just not going on the ground. He's not interacting with it, not even needing to block it. How does Andros get in? He's navigating so sick. He's no way. He's slapping so many cubes away. Yo, you need to get this guy on a smut, bro. If he's got these kind of reactions to avoid cubes, he needs to go stream Fury or something, bro. Put him on Space Invaders. Oh, oh, no. There's no the blocking space invaders. Up, the cross up, though. It was too much to handle. Sando now a round away. We're moving on to top four. I'm just going to have to pull something crazy. Oh, there's five keys. He's so ready every time. <gasps> ready for the TP that time. That's what Andros has been waiting for a lot of the time. He's kind of been sitting back, anticipating, waiting for that TP from Sando. He hasn't really gave it all that often in the set. Did so there at Andros. Immediately ready, but now stuck in the corner. Nice block on the 5D, but the pressure does not stop. We're going back through the book. What's the Da Vinci's code? Some more mix. Oh, and got the mana card as well. And oh, it's actually, it might just be over. No, he's going to be RC? <gasps> I he's believe. Trying. He's scheming. Oh. What is this? Anime. Okay, burst. Didn't want to see the end of that. Oh, he was praying, but no one was there to hear your calls. Hit by one cube, blocks the dust again, blocks the third one. I told you to pop past the Josie, I told you, man. Toxic Buster. Oh, that flick to get the side switch and that combo. Oh, Andros is going deep in the back for this one. 2D connects. The pot still lives. Oh, I don't miss, brother. I told you he was going to get a pop buster. I felt it. But it will it matter? It might not matter. It it he, had his he had his moment, and we take those. <laughs> oh, I tried. He tried to white wild us. I respect it. The cards weren't great, and Zando was already in deck free. That was the moment if Andros ever needed it to find the hit, but it doesn't work out. Dash cancel into the fawns. More fawns overhead connects straight into the sphere, and that should be Zando taking it 3 0 over Andros, the Spanish pot. Unfortunately, crashes and burns out at fifth, and Zando. Staying alive, moving on to lose the semis. Indeed, indeed. He's definitely made his name. I feel that he's not just someone who is uh, picking up Asuka. I think it's safe to say that Zando is definitely an Asuka main. Uh, but you could definitely see that Andros has played that matchup. The understanding of the cubes, um, not just because of the 5Ps, it was the uh, far rest into slide head. Mm. That was really, really smart. Utilizing the low kind of like low profile properties on slide head as well and getting away a chunk of the cubes and potentially hitting uh, asuka while you're throwing out that button and then going for the slide head just in case they're on the ground but we saw zano start taking to the skies a lot more just made it way way tougher for andros to get some w's on there unfortunately yeah and andros was playing really well around the teleport as well but mm -hmm. zando kind of just only really went for one raw teleport got punished for it and that was towards the end yeah. of the set where he was probably like, I'm I'm far enough ahead now. I could probably go a bit more crazy. Did get punished. So, you know, Andros is definitely knowledgeable on the matchup as we're going to go on to winners finals now. Serrani up against Pachu. Two players. I'm pretty sure everyone in chat knows about. Uh, it feels two. like there's an online Triforce forming between Serrani, Pachu and Tiger Pop. Like the online yeah. weeklies just seems to at least have two of those three players. Yeah. In top three. For sure. All right. Disc. 
good block so far still good blocks and there we go straight overhead oh milia she doesn't take hits too too well goes for pressure fade away pinned down you cannot escape kaisen please let this man breathe oh, i'm still going oh the capel making it awkward cross up ah dash dh does connect and that should be serrani's round securing it with the hair car parking away that round oh my bro <laughs> nimble nimble milia bro elegant just going under that 5k pretty much and there's the bait coming out good stuff there from patachu we've seen him do the dash forward and id back js to bait the throw attempts and other grounding moves but we've also seen sarani go in the offense and she is going ham right now speed in the corner and giving it back that is a weird way to do what's it secret santa are you gonna yeah. take their gift and give it back to them <laughs> Oh, tried to haircut RC. Just opted to back off. Saw the situation, didn't like it. 6P though, gonna connect. Overhead once more, the hoof stomp. Up onto the RC, blue RC, trying to catch the landing. Chases down the back, that should Serrani burst and wants to secure this game as soon as possible. Close S, trying to respect the DP. Does find the hit, needs one more hit. The deflect shield working out and finds the nice timing on the 6P as well. Exquisite deflect shield. Don't see it too often, and normally when you do see it, it ends up doing nothing to the pressure you're taking. But Patrick actually squeezing one out and getting a win because of it, I'd say, on the whiff. And there we go. Knowing that the setup's fake with that disc goes for the DP. Punch in the face. Oh, Milia with the glass jaw. But she does get to swap sides. Yeah, super late overhead there. What? How same sides? Instant turbo fall is actually might be unblockable, not gonna lie. Hmm, I like that. Not going for the wall break because there's once I guess hold on to the tension, maybe. Does find the hit. RC should confirm. Patchy takes game one for this winner's finals. Super sick play there. I mean, you can definitely get frustrated when you have those kind of mixes put upon you by Milia, uh, especially at Sarani's level. But Pachu kind of kept the composure and like, this is what the character does. I have to expect to get hit. I can't, you know, be reasonable and think I'm going to block half the time. That's just not going to happen. But when I do get a hit, I've got to make it matter. And there's something you brought up about not breaking the wall, probably thinking, I want to stay close to Milia. I don't want to give Milia mid screen again. So uh, yeah, I understand not breaking the wall in that situation. I think it's worked. So many sets they've had between each other, so by now, anytime Pachi gets hit with some disgust and mix, he probably just shrugs it off. The mental fortitude is just too strong now. Mm -hmm. Gonna get the throw. From you available off the next hit, and the Pachu classic, the fade away, straight into the Tyrant Barrel. Gets that perfect. It's crazy how often that air dash back JH just works for Pachi. Yeah, it, it, it reminds me of Shades of Zando when he used to do run-up backdash with uh, Ravenfall because mm. he had the speed to do it. And I think Sin might not have the speed, but he's got the threat of running in your face because that's when it gets real peak for you. Goal burst there, again, showing that you don't want Sin on top of you in the corner. Grab attempt, gone astray. And that's Arani. She's going in, smoking the 2D attempt. Oh my gosh. Just dancing, running rings around her oppo his opponent right now. Mm, RC. Oh, hair car, though. I'm just waiting for the Serrani special hair car round start. Could it be now? Could it be the moment? Mm, goes for the jump. That's all I'm waiting on. We've seen the Pachu classic. I'm waiting for the Serrani classic. The unblockable <laughs> hair car round start. The bingo card needs to get checked off. Who stomped, but didn't have meter, didn't have stamina, so couldn't do anything off that hit, unfortunately. All right, push to the corner. Lush Shaker. Got some IBs in there, 6P. And here we go. This is the little bit of momentum that Patachu needs. YRC on the 6K, or 3K, sorry. Air to air confirmed. Nice, nice mix. How, 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 Jonesy? Um, it's actually not going to be enough. Oh, actually got the wall breakers. What? But it's still not enough. What? That's crazy. <gasps> 
the jump cancel on the burst. Sin Howard? Or is it, oh, Gis Kiske? Gis Kiske, yeah, that's, that's the one. A, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> I am not saying that one again. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely one you type out, Kiske. Do you have to say, yeah, that Gisuke. was... Patch, you knew. Yeah, actually just knew. He knew before he entered the tournament. Before he signed up on the uh, on the challenge, he said, yep, yep, yes. Sarani's going to burst right there. Yep. Yes. And it wasn't a hit either, it was a blocked close. It's, it's like anticipating off the block on Wake Up is insane. <gasps> Ooh, that was a bit scrambly there. Not quite sure what happened, but either way, Sarani's going to get the bad moon RC. Force the burst from Pachu. Again, ready with the cross up. They just block on point, but not that time. Capel causing the gapel. What's the sell? Cross up, and now you're in the blender. Capel confirms just don't seem fair. Oh, that damage is low. That also doesn't seem fair. But she needs it. She needs low damage. Oh, breaker. Oh my gosh. Just went low. Two M starters. Dragon Ball players. Let's go. Ooh, bad damage. It's 50 a tension. Starter. <laughs> so oh, bad damage. <laughs> Who touched? <gasps> Actually, Dragon Ball 2 touched. <laughs> yeah, but this is worse than Dragon Ball because you don't get you don't get TOD from a 6M, bro. You don't die from both hands, to be fair. <laughs> that wow. was crazy. Patrick says, my turn. Hawk Baker, even in the block strings. He's, oh. AFK strat or, or Immaculate Spacing? Fair. <laughs> well, I'm not going to block it anyway, so just hit um, me, bro. Just to be honest, if I see a thin sun in there, I'm not even going for it because I just think they're going to Hulk Baker. Oh, God. I want to say that's actually happened to me, but I don't want to bait myself out. But. Ooh, he's just walking it out. Looking Delete. for probably the YRC. He <gasps> looked for the special. It wasn't there, though. Sorani ready to interrupt. The counter. Dupaki counter hit confirms. But it doesn't matter. Button yourself. Button yourself play. Hawk Baker DP, we're adding there. Oh, I see. Nice timing on the multi hit move. I like it. Ooh, gets the throw there. Gonna go for disc. Godspeed. Godspeed. Don't know what side you're gonna block. Almost better to try and jab it out, but can't always do that. Too early on the 6P there. Gets hit with a cross up and another mix. Ooh, right. seems how close this is rough. That's so disgusting. Turbo full seems how close this. Oh my god, bad moon. And that's actually going to be enough as well. Just as the burst came back, it was too little, too late. Sarani. Trying to at least bring us to a game five. Possibly a reverse sweep, who knows. But at least has that first game up on the board for herself. Yeah, that's how the journey starts. The journey of, journey of comebacks starts with one step. So that one on the board is a big deal. Pachu may be losing a little bit of momentum because it must be mentally draining doing those blocks. Like the, the left rights that Pachu is blocking has to be like a fatigue because sometimes you'll do it and then it just leads into more pressure. And it's like, damn, I wish I just took the hit and took the free hit combo <laughs> instead of blocking like a really hard mix and then being put in more blocks that I didn't have to worry about. Bad Moon, uh, a Sarani bobsled, Egg haircut coming out and smacking me low. It's it's stressful. That's what makes Sarani scary, right? You block the first mix and then the second, and she'll end up having the third layer next. It's just non stop. It just never ends. Oh, speaking of never ending, this combo though, straight into the corner we go. Takes a throw. Who stomp RC? I did, didn't juggle though. But I like that chase down, covering the jump back. Milia too slim, falling out of those combos. Like Faust's mum or something. Oh, don't you dare try and stagger me. Doji G was enough, but the elk hunt is gonna be hunting down his opponent. Nowhere. 
fought Sarani to go, but she's putting on the offense now, gets the throw and heavy disc. <laughs> no bueno. Okay. Hell once more though. Does connect and now this scary situation. Sarani's got 50 tension. Does find the close S. A lot of me to dump at the end of this combo. Choosing the wildest soul. Do we see Dash Bad Moon? Oh, Mirage then goes same side low. Oh. What's the opening gambit? Jump air throw. I like the idea, but couldn't quite reach Mrs. Raid. Yeah, once again, taking to the skies, being out of that spot where Patch, you can kind of stop Milia from being close S after the mix. All right. Like you said, the sweep might happen, but Padju on the offense, all the close S's. It's all that proximity. <laughs> the purple beats, and that's still a ton of damage as well. Oh, slingshot, but he's ready. Not ready for the bad moon, though. It's a total eclipse of Padju's heart as Sarani taking us to a game five here in winner's finals. Another game five here in top eight. Scripted. Today has been scripted. What number are we on now? One, two, three, fourth one now. Rexy got the bars. I got the bars too, Rexy. I heard the bars. Mm. If you know, you know. Mm. All right, let's see if Sarani and make this reverse sweep happen or can patch you turn it around stop the reverse sweep tries to go for the air throw once more tries to run it back but it doesn't work oh big counter here no burst and i think patch was even thinking you really gonna take this on two two oh where are you going good throw i think that was on a mirage attempt to get out of the corner it hasn't got involved frames 2s skip checked you're not dead, right? Oh, you are actually dead. Yes, you got perfect barrel. Bro. Explosive start. He's gonna find the hit. Opting for 2P. Doesn't want to break the wall just yet. Wants to find the hit. Bates out the Hawk Baker. And now this is where Sarani breaks the wall with the Blue Wild Assault because the tension is now available for RC Mix. Tried to go for the overhead. Patrick said no. Denies it straight up. ID did get past his opponent. Same side ID once again. This time was standing at the last minute, so couldn't get over. But that was part of the laser. Now we're getting last game, last round. Once again, Padju Sarani. Good block on the cross up, but here comes the throw, Jonesy. It could all end here. Oh, Padju tried to say no to the set play, but it's a nice time on the burst, though. And now, just like that, Sarani stuck in the corner. Empty jump low forces the burst from Sarani. We're now burstless here last round. But Sarani's got the tension available to extend off the bad moon. Confirm the juggle's on point. Gonna see the wall break, but that's back to neutral. Apache does have 50 burst gauge, does have 50 tension. All it takes to hit, but the fallen JH connects. And Sarani secures the reverse sweep, takes it 3 2 over Patachu. And moves on to a guaranteed top 2C4. It can happen to you, man. And it's it's not easy with a character that doesn't do a lot of damage most of the time, right? Uh, to see the score being 2-0, not in your favor, you've really got to dig deep. And uh, Sarani did that. She she pulled it out when it was looking real bad. You could see Padgy was just really struggling to get hits. Like we saw two attempts of an air throw. The idea was right because Sarani did take to disguise, but just just not in the range that he could deal with it. And uh, yeah, it just kind of led to him losing a couple of games back to back and Sarani, she took full advantage of that. Yeah, and what we can take full advantage of now that we are down to the final four is the Macharino. Let's claim those codes up real quick. Exclamation mark, Macharino. We're on 23 codes left. Let's get that prize pool bumped up. As one of these four players are going to be going with that prize, getting that Uber Eats, filling that fridge up. Sando gets the first knockdown, and this is a sick hand. That is a peak deck one hand, straight into deck three as well. This is looking strong for Sando right now. 
Oh yeah, we see Crush on almost jumping in the pool. There's nothing good for you in there. Only the Annihilation Wave. Ooh. Oh, we're going to search the deck instead of... Are you still going to be able to break the wall? Oh, wow, with the Wild Assault. So that's hard knockdown. So you get guaranteed cubes. I respect Kushram on trying, but that's just guaranteed. Try to YRC and it does not matter. And yeah, chat making a sick point there. Kushamon had to beat Equilibrium's Asuka and now has to deal with the Zando. Man's batting his way through Hogwarts. He's... <laughs> He's just a lone muggle in this world, man. Let him, <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> Oh, he's cooking right now. Barbecuing his opponent. Oh, that confirm was so fire. Oh, we are purpled up as well. Vimto Geo. Yeah, wants the whole buff as well. The whole Ribena pack. <laughs> oh, not to be sold separately. Oh, 2D. Search your deck. Card count in. Here comes the portals. The defense modifier would have helped, but Sorry. spent some of that tension. The YRC just didn't matter. The cubes were still out, it never mattered. And now we're just running it back. Exodia hand as well. That was so sick from the Sandu. Held on to the mana card, waiting for the deck to refill. Rather than spend it and then the deck refill and waiting for the opportune moment just in case Crushamon blocked all of that. But unfortunately, Crushamon didn't. Zando takes the first game here. Yeah, gonna have to potentially adapt their matchup knowledge. Like we said, we saw Crushamon do this earlier. But this is a different type of Asuka, right? The patterns from Asuka's tend to differ. Besides when they get Exodius and then everyone does the same thing, right? Because you can't do anything about it. That's the whole point. But how they get to that point is different between uh, Super players, I'd say. Confirms into Wild Assault. Fortunately for Crushamon though, no portal cues, but we're going to bookmark straight up, look for the Exodia hand. Oh, the f how do you even, you can't even see the 5D, it's so hidden behind the cubes. Bruh, using your eyes is overrated. Overrated, it doesn't help you in this matchup. Just go blindfolded, it might, it might work out better, who knows. Bruh, let's get Squen on Guilty Gear, bro. Oh my days, Crushamon landed right in front of the hall. I had to block every single one of those cubes. <laughs> oh, bro, the evasion. Bro, Crushamon actually used double team, bro. Couldn't get hit. Ooh, trade. Couldn't get a combo off of it. Trade might work. It needs to keep the pressure going, but unfortunately... Zando finds the gap, gets a 2D into the bookmark super, finds Exodia, finds a confirm, get it... Ooh, I'll just save the mana, go for the mix, gets the low. And Zando now 2-0 up over Crushamon. Crushamon just can't find their footing in this matchup at all. No, it doesn't look like it, but we have seen the the 2-2s two appear from a 2-0 situation. Let's see what he has up his sleeve. Crushamon. I feel one big thing is like jabbing the cubes. And we did see Crushamon try to use stuff like a flip prc to try and get over them but i think something you was not uh paying attention to earlier is how zando can just fight from full screen and stay still they don't over they don't get overzealous with trying to push their advantage with the cubes like this see he stands in the cube is trying instead of trying to put the cube on, put, on top of you yeah he's he's waiting for the hand that allows him to put the pressure on rather than just force his way through the entire deck he waits for the hand to present itself first Mm -hmm. So the management is definitely clean. Bookmark. You've got mana, you've got cubes, you've got teleport, you've got everything you need. Add on a little bit extra with the gravity. Well, see for Crushamon trying to find a way out, but you're just spending all that tension. You're delaying the inevitable. There is nothing you can do. The pressure is too much and the 2D eventually clips the toes. Okay, good blocks from Zando. Takes his turn back immediately. Here we go to the fire. Fawns into low, into a mid. That's all you need. Cards up. Electric shock. Oh, he is counting cards. Jonesy is cheating. Yes. Oh, casinos hate this player. 
Oh my god, yeah, you're not even allowed to dash forward now. That's crazy. That staff is just denying entrance. The bounce is saying no. Does not like that idea or calling it fake. But Crushamon finds the way in through the side entrance, pushing Zander towards the corner, but it might not matter. Knockdown once more. Cubes available. The regain mana card spent as well. Try to fight back. Finds the 5 H, but can't find the confirm. Crushamon finally got the hit. You had to confirm there. Still keeping the pressure going. Undeterred. Committed to the throw, and that commitment might be the downfall of Crushamon here. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was so hard to read. Zando taking it with a with a crazy dash up forms when he had a handful of madness that he could have thrown. But that's the last thing you're looking for, right? So you could just a dash up to you with no cubes, no staff on screen. Really sick play from Zando going for the double low, thinking, you know, Crushamon needs to not hold down back right now to make this comeback. So that's what I'm gonna go look for. Swept them off their feet. And unfortunately, the Geo is out of the tournament. We got more card Pokemon slash Yu-Gi-Oh slash Magic the Gathering references on your way. No snap though? Stick a little snap in there if you want. Bro, I would do snap, but I feel not enough people play snap. Mm. So uh, I'll try, I'll, I'll I, drop some. That is, you're a different C4, that's crazy. Oh, what okay, caring about? Oh yeah, you're right. I should actually mm. care. You that play is... snap, so yeah, I'll do it actually, yeah. All right. Okay, okay, let's see. We've right. got losers finals now. Pachu, Zando, the run back. Pachu took this free one as well. Let's see if history repeats itself. Let's see if Pachu can try and get the run back against Serrani or Zando. Moves on to Grants. All right, TP into the face. Pachu not liking that. Trying to jump over the cubes. And again, we saw that earlier. Trying to use Beak Driver to kind of get in so beat driver cube and then l kind of gazelle step to get closer let's see if man like Zando allows that to happen though oh red eyes black dragon it does hit oh no that did a grip as well yeah that was covering for the big cube right mm -hmm. saw that the so anticipated patchy going for the beat driver to snipe that cube said i'll just use potential cover that back however now stuck in the corner the most ideal hand gets hit by the counter hit. Stamina gone though on Patchy's side, and the tension wasn't there to extend either. Spend Ooh. once more, but does get clipped. Sando though does find the chance to at least go through the cards, but does get hit on the wake up. Might not even be able to spend those cards. Yo, what a bat dash. Oh, what a TP! <laughs> Oh, good game. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, Pachu is on a mad one. He is not letting Xander play the game right now. And what a clean performance from Pachu. The, the bro Baker. <laughs> that DP is crazy. Tiki 5P. I like that. Going for the sort of high jump into the portal summon. Make it so there's no way Elkhorn or Gazelle Step or any of that shenanigans with the stamina is coming towards you. Back and away, making Beat Driver whiff. All right, pulls her out. Gets the dust in it. Yeah, he gets the timing. Because the combo over afterwards, Burst has been baited. He's gonna hold onto the energy. Yeah, he's gonna throw out. No, he's not. He's actually gonna go for Red Eyes. Oh, I'm guessing he wanted it to wall break, but he doesn't get it. That was weird, definitely gonna need to clip on that one. I wondered if Sando maybe was gonna go for bookmark as well. The hand wasn't exactly Exodia in deck three, so but might have spent all the cards actually. The deck's looking low. Sando might just need to go through all of these cards, but it does not matter. Particle Sphere connects anyway. That looked like a, a typical just send it moment. Just do it. Yeah. And with just... that super, I feel like Asikas just do that anyway. Because it gives mm -hmm. them a chance to go through their spells to bookmark any or whatever, so... It's just a it's clean... Uh, this is the the neutral button. The neutral yeah. super. Go Sphere. Win neutral for me. <laughs> it's one of the risky ones as well, because it's not like an active beam like Rams or something. You can do stuff like what we saw Patrick do, is like DP through. If they're mm. doing it just in neutral, right? Uh, Oh, you know what's scary? Milia could actually mirage through it, I reckon. 
if you're on point. You have to be mega on point. Sorry. If, uh, to be fair though, if it's raw, I feel like you could just on reaction. If it's like done full screen, is just saying, as the ask is saying, I just want the space to get cards out. Mm -hmm. I think you probably could, to be fair. Oh, PLC 2D doesn't work. Blue Cube connects. Double TP. Salesando uses that. It's the only cards available right now and just says, no, I don't want any of those. Give me my cubes back. I need them. Oh, got the mana regain as well. Situation. Apache to be in. Gonna have to find the moment to challenge. Nice block on the 5D. Oh Hit by the my. 2D though. Man's got the shot confirms. He literally did <laughs> low forward fireball <laughs> into super. <laughs> that was a sick confirm. <laughs> oh my that logo's too far. Can we Dice Gate? Just just wanna talk, bro. Just wanna add words. What's with the drinks on the rocks, man? That's all we want to know. <laughs> Have it neat. Just once. Oh no, gravity staff is up. Yo. Time yeah, to cheese. Oh, 5D get back. Oh, what are you doing? Spears out. Oh, knocked down. Got the time. Cubes. No staff this time, but the pressure. Teleport jumps out. I like it. <gasps> Oh, just got blocked. I like that jump dust though. I like the idea from Pachi as the way to get out using the dive kick, but unfortunately, the burst didn't quite work out. And Zando now 2 0 up over Pachi. What to do? What to do if you're Pachu? I feel you can't always think about, okay, they just got the hand, so I, I just wasn't allowed to win by mechanics. Uh, how he's stopping Zando is super important. And that's, he hasn't really been able to establish like the high-low game, which we saw him do in all the previous matches, right? He was getting stuff like raw overhead. He was just dashing up to people and doing overhead. Mm. I think he hasn't scared Zando enough of maybe like beat drivers and the health guns to stay still because Zando is just super active. And I think the, the fact that Zando is going for a lot of aerial cubes, it's... Denied that thing that you mentioned earlier of how Apache worked. Like there, with the beat driver. Using that with Elkhunt as the way to get in. If Zando is summoning the cubes from above, it's a lot harder. However, there's no mana on the side. Tyrant Barrel, that is dead. D-E-D -E -D dead. Yeah, that no energy. Got absorbed by Sunspot. Taking double damage. Feels bad. But he's going to be more powerful the next turn. Let's see. Oh, never mind. DP stands for Dome Press. All fours with. Happy got rid of all but one cube and it clipped him round the toe. Scuffing up the shoes. Speaking of scuffing, we use that 2D. Wake up 2K 2D. Okay, sin low. Oh, it's in air DP. I am so mad. <laughs> I think Patrick is wrong. Keep the burst out. Hold the cube to the jaw. Oh, bro. Too many layers. That's disgusting. That saves the air dash. That is grim. Ugh. That's deep in the bag, that is. <laughs> oh, we're going oh, for all our deck free as well. Bro, it's it, oh, crystal down like five times. The DP doesn't matter. Stuck in the crystal maze. That's what you are right now. <laughs> you are lost. All right, what are we searching for? Got the mana. Spends yeah. that mana there, and now we go through the cubes. The deck will about to be refilled, but it might not even matter. The hit is found. The DP baited and Pachu on the last legs. Just do it. BRC DP in. <gasps> Finding the counter hits out of nowhere now. Is he doing it? Focus Sash activated. Runs away. What a tech. Pachu had the BRC. Another tech. Oh! First gone though. Has to with the chip! Spend the tension. Bookmark. Oh, but there's so little tension on Pachu. You just chip out. You go through all your spells. <gasps> Double mana cards as well. Oh! That slash putting work though. No full <laughs> restores available. <laughs> That's why you go to the poker center beforehand. You messed up. Yeah, he did. He definitely didn't go. Uh, he didn't go to the Pokemon Center. It's unfortunate. 
It's pretty unfortunate. No berries were attached. Oh. No leftovers. It was a... Uh... Well, you had the focus sash on. That was the thing. Yeah, yeah. Only one item. Yeah, BGC rules. Yeah. Uh, but he held on for a long time. And like you said, the threat of Chip was all there. Uh, and when you have kind of your health bar at that range, you're like, oh, I can't even get clipped. You kind mm. of become a little bit more hesitant in your escape routes. And uh, yeah, I think it's one of those rough situations because when you look back, you could have been like, oh, I could have done that. But hindsight is so good in those situations against Asuka. So you can't yeah. beat yourself up too much about that. Yeah, and when you're low life and you're trying to get in as well, it's like you want to just kind of do elk hunt or maybe a hoof stomp or even like brc hawk baker to try and skip some of the cubes but you can't because you have to spend the tension on just staying alive first and foremost so the rough ending situation patchy out in third but strong showing as usual from the frenchman i'm sure i'll definitely turn up in all the onlines and hopefully at ufa as well next month as we're down to the final two sarani up against zando but chat it's time to claim the codes yep we want to be at the final two codes so we can tell some of the production in the back to do the claim code but we are far away from two 23 left we're getting a rate of 18 shouts to Pachu sending the kaisons over yeah that's right the kaisons are over here Icons. There you go. Zando said it. Oh, he said the money toxic. I get. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't see the I get. Oh, <laughs> I like that though. That's confidence. It's toxic, but it's confident. I need Sarani in the chat now to say, uh, my money fixed my money. for you. My money. <laughs> Man's a type oh, oh, we got top two payout already. Okay, that's fair. That's not oh, okay. less toxic. Oh, it's a little bit toxic for Patrick. That kind of ruined that ruined. I mean, yeah. It's, it's top two split, but it's 99 to one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I fixed the narrative, Jonesy. There you go. There we go. I mean, to be fair, you get more if you win rather than getting second. So true. But a bigger prize pool definitely does help. So let's get those claimed up. Sitting on 21 codes. Let's get them all sorted. Of course, much love, Patchy, with the raid. Definitely hit up the stream because he always streams his tournament runs. Let's look down here. Final two, Sarani up against Zando. Zando, of course, on the loser's side. So has to win two sets against Sarani's Milia to win the bracket. And already on the offense, Sarani, she's trying to get this over and done with ASAP. But we can see Zando trying to get the space. Opens up the portals. There we go. But gets clipped by it. I think that was JS. That was crazy. It was like Capel into JS. Because the Capel meant Milia avoided the cubes altogether. Mm, okay. And then cross up JS. Oh. Block. Oh, and a on 6k. The Slover heads. But he has tried to avoid as much as possible. He is, <laughs> he is fighting for his life. <laughs> Bruv, man is moving like... He's moving like Shadow Kitty, bro. He's going back to his hand. You can't. You can't get Shang Chi. Can't get Shang Chi, bro. You have to avoid it. Get out of that location as soon as. Yep. Give up priority. Pray for a Doctor Strange right now. <laughs> get out of that situation. Hello. This could be oh, the chat. Winger Wake Up. I don't read. Ignore your books. I don't care about that six H. Show me a Kindle. Wow, Dash 5P. I mean, to be fair, Dash 5P actually is kind of smart because it might clip most of the cube startups in deck one, so. Mm, that's a good point. Oh, the closest. Always working. Yep, there you go. The mids be hitting the left, right. Is so ambiguous in that situation. Oh, this gets for game now. The bad move killed straight up. <laughs> I never get to see that. The bad moon killed I was like, oh, we'll get bad moon RC. And there's the bad moon killer. This is like, what? Yeah. what? See that fe that freaky face in the moon, bro. It's, just, uh, it's definitely it's definitely Halloween season. That that oh. creepy sleeping crescent moon is 
going to give people nightmares. Don't free frame that, please. Please don't. Anyone that does, please don't send that to IMC4 IQ. Yeah, I won't sleep for days. Mm. Let's go. Srani taking the first game here. Srani only needs to win two more games to secure victory. He's the overhead. First gets blocked by Zando. Builds the meter just in time to bookmark off the 6H knockdown as well. Sick tension management there from Zando. Oh my god! Ugh. We've got another floater. Lifeguards. Please. Saw the pull out. Oh no, man. Man threw Wasp into Lockjaw. Got Magneto. The attraction. Magnetic squeeze. Get over here. I gave you the snap card. I shouldn't have. <laughs> you that went all in. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I might need to. Uh, I might need to leech it away though. <laughs> Layers. Layered bars. No. <gasps> Oh. That was a... Oh, no, yeah, no mana. I was about to say, why was that yeah, so much yeah, damage? No mana. No mana. <laughs> All tapped out. Oh, neck brick off. Oh, this is... This no good hand. Two staffs, mana? Oh. <laughs> you wish you could mulligan. <gasps> Turbo fall, out of there. And now you're stuck in the corner. Hold the throw. That staff's not even going to help you right now. There's still no cubes in the hand of Zandu. The Minecraft wizard has finally found a cube. No cubes because he hasn't snapped yet. But he snapped his offense on. All oh, cubes are out. Big Swords gets a space. All right. Go for the deck. Oh, I like the slow cube in the air. Trying to stop the mobility options. But Sarani found a way through anyway. Why RC? Mm, delete that pole. Get out of here. Close that valve right up. Ah, it doesn't matter though, Sando, yet again! What? Jump cancelling, ready for the burst! That's why he's that man! Whoa, how did he know? Did you see the part of the combo where Sarani decided to burst and where Zando decided to bait it? I was like five hits in. And we all knew it was going to kill. Like the combo was always going to kill. But Xander just knew, it was like, yeah, I know you want to delay it. But I still know. I still know. Oh, man, we might get that I... reset. If he keeps playing like that, Jonesy, Zando might get this reset. Check the controller, man. Check something. <laughs> that must be illegal. One game apiece here. Let's see. Who can Because the bracket burst early from Asuka. Zando, back to the wall. Might not matter, though. Happy to have that portal on his side. Sorry though, the air capel is maneuvering around the deck three cubes in neutral so well. Oh my god. Just can't, can't get Millia off you. Oh, hard knockdown. Fifty tension available. You've got no mana. Box oh, the no. overheads. Problem is is thanks to positive bonus, you gotta hold that. Is that no? What's he gonna do? He's blocking it out. And he bro, hello? Yo, you kind of deserve to escape, to be fair. Oh my gosh, he's opened up the void in the right location. Sends it over with Viper. Now he's on the left, though, and he's got all that patience, not using his energy. Bruv, he's unleashed Infernal now, bruv. Look at the damage he's doing. Bro. It's your fault. It's your fault. That was pure 20 unscaled. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, my days. That caused Lockjaw. <laughs> Straight to the chin. Oh no. Oh, dash up 5k counter hits. <gasps> the fade back. Sando stealing the power two tech. I see you. Oh no. Straight into the portal. You hate to see it. Love to see it if you're an Asuka fan though. Minecraft Wizard Gang. Stocks go up. Particle Sphere. Not going to be quite enough. But Chip now can be a factor. Sando Ooh. tried some dirty cross up. Yeah. Didn't work, but still got positive bonus. So they're going to get some RC after this. Just up back, I guess. It's not real, so why not? Oh, is it going to happen? I, don't make me play the Pokemon tunes. Don't make me regret because I haven't played it yet. No, no Zando. <laughs> it didn't work for Pachi. 
Let's see if it works for Sarani. <laughs> Trying to avoid Haircut. RC skipping the neutral, but the falling button. The closest didn't. Anti air, unfortunately. Sando 2 1 up now. He is. You can see moments where Zano is defending for his life. Uh, and probably against one of the hardest characters to do it uh, versus is Milia. The, the amount of sneaky and unpredictable lows and overheads. Like, Sorani's one of those players that doesn't abuse Bad Moon, but you know they're ready to do it. And they do it in really awkward positions where you're not ready to stand up quite yet. You've got to keep your wits about you. And Zando's doing that, has to do it one more time, and then they've reset the bracket. Yep. Zando 2 1 up. Let's see. And Sorani's done. A lot of sick movement using Capel, using Mirage, Turbo Full to try and avoid as much as possible, but Sando's adjusted really well. Interesting to see, you mentioned the Bad Moon, Sorani does like initially go for post Blue Wild Assault Wall Break, go for the Bad Moon with the RC available. So we'll see now that Zando's shown he's ready for that, we'll see if Sorani goes deeper. And this might be the showing right now, let's see, do we get another Bad Moon? Goes low. Saw that Zando respected the bad moon. Went low that time, but the second layer does connect. Tried to maybe beat the burst. Doesn't quite work out. The jump cancel not quite there, unfortunately. Trying to take a turn back. The air throw, though. Oh, my days, C4. Ooh, that was such a good throw, like you said, and then tried to bait the Mirage. Kind of got away with it, but then the burst came out, and now Sarani's going to take it. Unfortunately, because Zando threw their burst on that match, they did snap and didn't come out on top of that result. But it's not over yet. It's his case study free. I need to get to his feet, more importantly, so he can use the spells. I might not even get the chance at this rate. Actually saying that though, 5D to break, does mean he has the chance now. Uses the explosion just to get the distance required off the push block to then get through deck free. And now the portals are out, the cube connects. Sando, the adjustment to get the juggle. Goes for the hard knockdown with the 6H just to keep the Yoki going. Doesn't want Sarani having the chance to fuzzy jump out of any situation. Oh, my day is the mix. The 5D connects and Zando now one round away from getting the reset. Barnes with him, gets over the cubes and gets a hit. Early burst here from Zando. I like the match P just to chase the Mirage attempt to get out of the corner. Last Shaker doesn't hold on to it and catches... Zando still reaching for that 2P option up back. Blocks in the air. Back to the ground. Blocks the two closest. Oh, the 5P actually caught the jump back. Oh my god, yeah, again. Oh, close S, where are you going? How did that hit? Oh, the air to air, but that's so far in the air. I don't think Milia can really get the hard knockdown. Can't get an overdrive off that situation. So, has to use the tension there and does so in Sarani. Taking us to a game of five here in Grands. If Sarani wins, it's over. If Sando wins, it's a reset. It's another game five, C4. Today's Salt EU is sponsored by Surfacing Street, bro. The number five has come up. <laughs> the number five. Ah, ah, ah. Lit I think we've had five game fives. I think we've had. I'm pretty sure we've had five game fives. If not four. But we could get another one. If, if Xander resets, it could be another game five. That'd be it. Oh my, the air throws coming in clutch right now. Take throw setups. Yep. Oh, the Mirage, like you mentioned earlier in the stream, blowing up the cube pressure. It's cheap. Last game, please. <gasps> He's ready with every burst. Open the eye for the TP mix. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, that was Another. unnecessary violence. <laughs> that was very unnecessary violence. <laughs> well, I don't know if like Xander's been playing MK or something, having the, <laughs> to hit your opponent after the dead, so. but he doesn't know about the Mirage because it happened again. Maybe sarani has been saving that for Dire Straits 2-2. And look at the reward of just getting around a cube with Mirage, man. So, so scary. And Sarani started using Mirage before it got buffed in this current patch. 
like towards the end of season three, started using it to blow up like gamma blade pressure from Chip. Mm. And now it's been improved and it's scarier, especially for a character like Asuka, where the cubes cause that initial gap. Just like that, game five, last round in Grands again! I was gonna oh. go, oh my gosh, the staff is out, not affected by the burst. Yeah, yeah don't oh, come near me. Aki, yeah, Akihiko Persona's out, it's time. The gravity's here. <gasps> Back throw, Winston in time, it could be for Sorani. Gets the throw once more. Sando might just have to burst eventually. There it is, but Sorani's ready for it. Ooh, trying to get Ooh. tricky, catches the escape. This is not gonna kill Jonesy. Oh, the block on the bad mood. The man is gone though. 2D connects, 5D, RC, we don't even need the mana, the wizard. Going for a strength build right now. <gasps> the world is so... The world is so... That... I, I don't want to make hard statements, but I am 99% sure that was the flex shield. <laughs> That was definitely deflect. That is crazy. <laughs> or maybe it was an OS. Because I think Sarani knew there was a teleport. Ooh. And they went, okay, well, either I get deflect or I get wild assault. I, that's my guess. Either way, what a decision to make on basically the last hit of the game. I'm actually speechless by that. I want confirmation. I don't that know if Sarani's is... in the chat. That's a pure look build. Stumbled into the wind like that if that worked the way in my brain thinks it should. That's yeah. crazy. The Wild Assault just said no to the mix. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure Wild Assault wouldn't have been any other option, right? It doesn't like go through projectiles or anything like that. That was just like a hard, either a hard read or a hard OS. Either way, Zano is probably not prepared for the opponent to do wake up Wild Assault. <laughs> was the last thing he was thinking of. I mean, Especially if it's not a white wild assault, right? Because I don't think blue has any invul to it. No, it doesn't. So, wake up blue wild assault is crazy. <laughs> it's an absolute madness. <laughs> Grand finals, man. Do the unexpected. Didn't get the reset that we was all hoping for to get some more games. So, Riley does take it, like you said, Jonesy. Free to uh, defend in their, their winner's run. Clean stuff there, man. Good stuff. Good stuff to Zando, though. He put up a real good fight. Yeah, and to show the love to these two, let's get that prize pool up. Let's claim those codes. Both of them are getting paid out, so raise that prize pool as much as possible. Exclamation mark, Macharino. The link said there in the chat. What we have to do is go on that Macharino page, log on with your Twitch, and hit that claim code button we're down to 14 codes let's get those done as soon as yep even though the tournament's done he still put the money into the pot like we've been told by jonesy and ratchets in the chat the top two players get paid out so the more the merrier doesn't cost you a thing you shouldn't even need to tell you guys to do it it's been around for like years now it's easy to do take your time out of the day easiest way to thank the players is to put some currency points in their pocket. I mean, it's just that. It's that simple. It's that simple. Um, shouts to Ratchman, of course, for holding it down on the stream production. Ice is on holiday. I think he's in like Thailand or something. I remember him mentioning Thailand. So, yeah, Ratch, much love doing all the stream production. The T Owen on bracket side team salty eu here of course you got strive you got street fighter there's tekken there's dragon ball is bi-weekly i do believe and there's a little bit of other action there's some blaze blue and exard mixed in there so all sorts of stuff so if you're not already in the salty eu discord make sure you join and get involved yeah no need no reason not to you can also do what we done. And uh, if you've got a commentary reel, want to get some more practice, uh, jump on commentary as well. Rude. Not a bad shout. Good place. One of the few places to do it here in the EU. So if you want to try that out, 
if your uh, fingers betray your your thought process and you can't play the game at a high level like the people we've had today in the top eight it's understandable you're not the only one can't pick up a mic instead of a pad uh um, place for everyone don't call my tutu ass out like that that's disrespectful man that's crazy <laughs> yeah. mr mr former top player man that's crazy former top player damn i have to put that in the next commentary reel. Oh, Good are you help. still a top player in... In a, in a dead game? Yeah, in, I know. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, very yeah. dead game. It's all right. It's okay, I'll just bribe people to play it again. Make myself feel big. True. Hey, we went, we went a whole section and only just mentioned MVCI. That's crazy. And also, True. we forgot to mention, uh, Beginners returning this week. Also hosted by me, uh, First Drive. It's been quite a while since we had Beginners, but... Uh, I have some time, so you know, I decided to take the reins of beginners for now, while I also host the uh, main strife until Ace come ba comes back from Thailand. And yeah, thank you very much, guys, for uh, you know holding it down for me. Sick, beginners is back as well. So for those that were maybe O2 as well, didn't even sign up, or even just new people that have just gotten into Strive recently, there you go. You've now got a beginner bracket to look forward to this week. Yeah, I saw a lot of new faces today. As I was seeding, I was like, damn, it's like a lot of people I don't recognize. So I assume a lot of them will fit into the beginner bracket. So hey, check the match, uh, the match, you know, check the match, you know, too. We still got un uh, unclaimed codes, but uh, check the challenge link in the Discord. And there's the rules. I believe it's still not celestial and under 250 level on any character if it didn't change. So, you know, if you fit into those rules, sign up. I'll gladly uh, see more new faces show up because that's the beginner sort of four rides to just see like new faces. A lot of people who don't get to shine as much in the main bracket get their spotlight. And yeah, uh, I guess that's it for me. Again, cool. thank you very much, C4. Thank you, Jonesy, for holding it down for me. Join the Discord. Check the other games out. Again, as was mentioned, Blaze Blue, Exert, Exert, also hosted by me. Uh, Dragon Ball, Tekken. And yeah, so I think that's it for me. I don't know if I have anyone to send you to. I don't have Twitch open right now. If there's anyone streaming, you know, to do the good old, uh, good old fashioned raid. If I don't find anyone in a minute, I will just simply uh, go to stream. Let me check. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Shang Bang is streaming. I'm look, gonna, yeah, I'm Shang, gonna, there I'm you gonna go. go. EU bike and yeah cool i'm not sure if uh, shank participated in the bracket today i didn't see them but uh you know still give them the raid i saw they released in chat a little bit i definitely saw the name crop up yeah yeah i saw them in chat too but uh don't know the bracket and as it was not streamed i wasn't keeping that much of a track on all the names and I don't remember seeing them in the in the seating list, so. Alright, all well, the raid work, let's see. Is the raid all working? Right, then. Uh, there we go. Looks like it, yep. Six, six, six. All right. Yep. Go see some bike and play, I guess. I'll be lurking. See if there's All anything. Right. I need tech to steal and pass on to, to Jojo. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so that's it. Thank you, everyone. And yeah, uh, see ya in a couple of days for beginners. And uh, next week again with me for some strike. Right? See ya. Peace. All right, bowling, we're off.